Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be going over another setup. And this one's going to be on Skyscraper. I'll be going over all three of the main bomb sites. So I'll be doing Tea Room, I'll be doing Office, and I'll be doing Barbecue right below us. I won't be doing like the Master Room over there. So I am sorry in advance if you do want to see that site set up. I'm sure it's out there on YouTube somewhere though. It's kind of just like Barbecue. You just want to extend up top and then hold verts on it. And um, you pretty much set it up the same as Office. But... For starting, we'll go over tea room here. So first, I'll show you guys all of the holes before I do the reinforcements. So first, make this main rotate right here. Just a little crouch when I recommend on karaoke. Into Geisha. Make some head holes right on this wall right here. I'll show you why I do this. You reinforce the left side right here afterwards. And then you can peek the window from these reinforcements. Now this is good because somebody's always going to be repelled usually on this karaoke one. I say always and usually, but I mean... If you're playing a good team, there's going to be somebody on this repel. And they might even try to execute off the repel like a Ying plan or something. I have seen that a lot of times in my solo queue games. So you've got to have a way to watch this window and you can do it safely from this reinforcement. You just got to worry about your stairs, but you can even play in the site like this. And you don't have to watch it. That's just for ghost pressure as well. Like they can't do anything off these head holes. That's just going to scare them away for the guy playing tucked. Second, make your main rotate here, of course. Now, there is an option to reinforce both these off instead of making the rotate, but in ranked, I'd recommend just using the rotate usually, because it is ranked. You usually want a lot of traps or barbed wire on this door here and the stairs. If you guys have seen my video so like you, you know I hold this back stairway with Ella every single time. Throw Grismont up there, just a little bonus tip. It'll go off. You can pick the bottom, free kill every time. It works like a charm. Same with an Ella mod up here, so they can't really get it with their util. Um, next up, I do some head holes all the way across this wall because usually you won't be playing in the site anyways. This is just to stop them from um, coming in the main breach. There's a lot more angles. Also, that does not sound right what I just said, but ignore that. If you guys didn't know, you can wall bang this as well. All the way through, get some crazy angles from this side. Crazy angles from this side if they uh, push black stairs instead right here. This is called black, this whole area. And um, this main staircase right here is called either main, it's called brown, or wave stairs because of the wave. Um, next here on Geisha, since we're here, let's just make some holes here. This is to help anybody playing in Geisha. You can have somebody playing on these holes right here. Watch the uh, late window jump in. It is good to hold this staircase down as well. Come over here to shrine side. You want to make some high holes right here, kind of head level though, like that. Usually they will try to take map side from um, VIP, house, this is called usually. And then office, the breach is like right there. And then this breach. We'll go over reinforcements later, like I said. Um, but these holes are to support anybody trying to play over here. You can hold some long angles, especially with the ACOGs. This is really good to do. Um, that's just for more pressure than anything, though. And it doesn't affect you if they get control of it, because you can just play behind here and not have to worry about that. You can also do full holes along this wall if you want to because you can hold some crazy angles all the way back here to the staircase. That is optional because it does work both ways like I've said before. So if they get control of it, they can see through the rotate. So again, optional. I try to go over everything in this video for you guys though. I go over multiple ways to do things just so you know and you know why they are done. So next, um, head holes are optional here as well. Usually you do want to do these so you can help hold this door from here and the main stairs like I said before. So now we want to come in Geisha and make footholds right here on this wall. I'm sure everybody's seen these. That's just to make it hard for them to take Geisha when they get this breach open. Now they have to worry about this to the right on top of all these angles from the left. So it just makes it better all around. I always pop this hatch too. Now for this wall right here, sometimes I will do head holes here if I'm playing with a team. Again, you got to be very coordinated for this. If they get control of Geisha here, you're kind of in a predicament for the randoms because they can just walk in and not see the entire hallway, cut that all off. But again, if you have a setup around it and your team does know about these holes, they can work against the attackers because you can just hold like an angle right here against the reinforcement. And you can also hold it down like that. The top black player can even hold it from all the way down here if they have an A-call like this. So just more pressure to put on Geisha. You usually want to put more pressure on the um, attackers. That's the best way to play. Has been for the last few um, seasons at least, maybe even longer. I think that's always the best way to play. Put aggression on the attackers, make it hard for them to enter the map. And that's how to do it for the defense. Okay, now that I think that's all the holes, last one, you can put head holes on the main breach too. 
I don't recommend this at all in ranked, especially like if you're solo here or something. Never do this because it is it's just gonna work against your team, man. Like your team's never gonna know what to do here. They're just gonna be standing inside, like, oh, I forgot about these holes, and then die because somebody pushes the back. So don't even worry about these holes. That puts us to the reinforcements though, so reinforce the two main walls. I know I've been just going on and on about this site. That is the point of these videos though, so if you don't like it, you can just uh, go ahead and get out of here. I know a lot of people do love these style of videos. I had so many comments in the uh, last site setup video. It didn't do as best like my solo queue videos, like algorithm wise, but I'm just making them for you guys because I know you do like them. I got so much positive response and feedback in the comments. I will do other maps as well, don't worry. I plan on doing every map in the ranked pool for these. That's why I wanted to do Skyscraper today as well, because I know it's not, like, as played. So I know it's not as easy to tell where you should be setting things up, because you don't get to practice it very much, you don't get to see it very much, so... That's what I'm here for. Go ahead and reinforce these two on the left, though, of T. Again, up to you on this reinforcement. I'll leave it like this for now, because I do like doing it this way, honestly. Don't reinforce this wall in Geisha, I'll show you why after. Instead, you want to come over here, reinforce the Geisha wall, the main breach. This is a no-brainer, obviously. You should always have like some denial on that wall, too, and try to hold this for as long as you can. Geisha is a very important piece of the map that you want to have control of. Come over here and reinforce this wall I told you about earlier. Like so. Like I said, you can hold these angles right here. You can even just wait for them to repel in, throw a C4, freebie, or again, just play like long angles like behind this. And you can have reinforcement for recover. Another thing about the uh, Geisha window right here, you can hold long angles with an ACOG like this. Get like a perfect pixel peek and just swing off of it and get a freebie. Really good strat to do. Um, for your last four reinforcements, I'll show you where to put those. You come over to the other side of the map. I'll give you another choice as well for after if you don't want to do these. I always shoot the radios. There's one over here too. I always shoot those. So usually you want to defend the other side of the map as well, just like that side, because they're always going to push other side over. That's usually where the takes gonna come from. And ranked, it can change. Like they'll just go full black and repel, like I said before. But if you notice they're taking map over, I would reinforce these two walls here in office. This will just slow them down a lot. I even have a solo queue strat where I'll come over here, reinforce these two, and then the other two I'll show you. Put bandits on all of them and it really stalls them out. And I can do that myself too. So reinforce the two office ones. Where's that walkie talkie at? This. Always shoot this too. Okay, come over here, reinforce this wall here on mini bar, like I told you about. It's called mini bar just because of this. And then last wall will go right here. On the house wall. It's called house wall because this is called house stairs because house is down here on this part of the map. As you can see on the compass even. So that's all your reinforcements. Again, if you don't want to extend over, you don't have to since this is uh, just ranked. It's not like comp or anything. I would recommend this still, but if you don't want to, this wall as well for just from a recover since it is ranked like I said. And then your last two can go on this one. You'll always see this reinforced. And then either this one as well, if you don't want to rotate, or this wall between sight, just for more cover again. So that's all up to you guys. You can do whatever you want with those walls. I just like putting them on the other side to slow them down more. Um, it depends on the strat I'm running, though. If I'm doing my black stairs hold, I won't even bother, because I won't be over there. I'll just let my teammates handle that. And I'll just anchor down the back of sight. I'll do the reinforcements around here like I told you about. But if I do my bandit strat over there, I will reinforce all four. You just gotta hope your teammates don't reinforce all these first, if you're solo queue, but this is for a stack as well, so not just solo queue stuff. Anyways though, let's just move on to the next site. Let me stop rambling on for an eternity. First thing before we move on, I totally forgot to show you guys like where the main shields go. So you usually have your rotate right here onto karaoke and black. You want to put the shield kind of right in front of it like this, with a little room in between. Just like that. This is a really good shield to peek the door. The lighting is terrible here, so let's try to do this, actually. I'm testing this on the fly. I've never done this. I don't really play shields for this. Yeah, it's terrible lighting either way. Like, that's not bad, I guess, right there. You can pop up and quick peek somebody. 
that's mostly just to scare them anyways, though. Like, they'll have to think about somebody being behind the shield at all times, because they'll rotate. So yeah, do that one if you do have the rotate. Otherwise, another good shield you can do... Just come over here to shrine. Put a shield, like, right here at the top of the stairs. Maybe even farther back, you have ADSs for this, or, like, one of my men, it's up here or something. And this is a really powerful shield for holding this down. I would probably recommend this one more so if they're doing, like, an opposite side over. Now, understand in ranked, you can still flip your utility. So if you notice, nobody's really coming this side. Like, you have the map or the camera up still for this part of the map. You can literally grab your shield and bring it over here when you have time still. That works on frost, too. Frost shield's a good pick here for this site. And yeah, let's move on to the office site, though. Again, quickly before we move on to the next site, I'm going to show you guys something I forgot. It's like a hole here you can do on the floor. So shotgun a little hole right here in this area, and you can watch the window jumping below. This is going to get you so many free kills because a lot of people will run out of that helicopter spawn, come right up here, jump right in the bottom window right away. And if they don't drone this and see the hole here, or if they miss drone it, you can get a freebie. It's worked so many times in my games, even on my solo queue videos before I used to do this. Free kills every time. You only need to make a little tiny hole too to see it. You probably cover it up pretty well, honestly. So for holes on this, I do like doing a vault spawn on this side. There are positives and benefits about having the rotate on this side compared to this side. I just do it here so you can safely get through the rotate without going to the window. Like if you have the rotate here, they can just hold it the entire round. This one is more exposed to like the stairs back here, but it's not too bad, honestly. Like you can go through this behind the bomb. And they probably want to shoot you. You should have somebody on this staircase or like top house anyways. So that's why I'd recommend the rotate. You can end up reinforcing that middle wall later. I'd recommend like head holes somewhere on this wall here. Like you should reinforce this one usually and have head holes here. Even like a little rotate if you want, just like that. I'll show you guys a really good mirror after um, this round for this site. I'll show you a good setup. I'd recommend making head holes at the top here. Kind of like that, just to support anybody playing in Shrine, you can peek off this long angle and hold that. Very good angle to hold. Okay, back to the holes. This is the main breach, as we all know, but if you're doing the mirror strat I'm going to tell you guys about, usually that's when you want to do this. Try to put the holes here all the way across, like knee level. Don't do like too low, but don't do too high either. So kind of do like crouch level holes like this. All the way across, I'll show you why. When you have the mirror here, you'll see why that is. You can easily see anybody here, and you'll have the perspective on them because they won't be able to see head level, so it's going to be very awkward. If they crouch through, free headshot every time because they're moving at the speed of a turtle. So I know that might have been a lot, but don't do this unless you have the mirror, though. So you'll reinforce these usually. I also make some hiles up here for, like, C4s and stuff. Like, if they jump in this window, you can C4 now from behind this reinforcement, just like so. And it works the other way for the main breach. So come right here, and you can see four over the top still without exposing to the window. You can also make some holes down here to watch the, um... Where's the doorway? It's like right there, I think. Yeah. You can watch the house doorway right here. A lot of people will come in from here on this site. Easy shotgun pump. And there's one more, too. Come up in the hatch right here. This is for early on, mostly. You can hold the window from right here. Just like that. I think that's all the holes on this site, so I'll do the reinforcements now. We already went over a bunch of these on the other site, so same thing. Reinforce this wall on minibar. Reinforce this wall far right again. Keep in mind, if they do a thermite charge, like, um, far on this side of the wall right here, this will blow up as well, so always keep that in mind. That's why you don't want to open, or you don't want to close this all for the mirror. Maybe just do the left, but never reinforce this for the mirror strat. Big tip right there, because it will blow this breach right open too, if they put it far on this side. I really wanted to get that point across. Reinforce these two walls on exhibition though. Just like so. Reinforce this wall. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's better to reinforce this side and then put the thing on that. I'm honestly not too sure. Now that I'm thinking about it, like, this is going to be your other mirror spot right here as well. I'm not sure if it'd be better on the left or the right. So that's up to you, honestly. I'm going to do the left for now. I think that's better angles for 
you would hold from far back the ACOG right here. Well, like, if it was there, like, you'd be a little bit more exposed. I'd recommend here for sure, especially without a mirror. A personal preference at the end of the day, though, like I say for all this. I'm just showing you guys the positives and negatives of doing each thing. Like, even in pro play, there's so many different strats you can pull off and they actually work. So in ranked, like, there's endless possibilities of how you can win rounds and strats. Anything's possible, man, it's ranked. So on this wall, this is personal preference too. Sometimes you do head holes and hold these from here, like inside Dragon, but usually I reinforce it. Now, this is because Dragon is pretty easy to take control of, honestly. Not Dragon, um, Terrace. I'm in Dragon right here. It's pretty easy to take control of, so if the attackers do get this room, they can kind of cut you off and see into here, so I reinforce it. Now they have to Thermite or Ace it to get the Rotate made into there. So they're kind of trapped in this room, which is what you want. They'll have to go for this breach. Sometimes in ranked is good to have like a mute or something on this or band it. Okay, next reinforcement right here in the middle. I already went over this one. This is a good reinforcement to do on the other side as well. Like for the extension, if you do have one remaining, you'll just have to take one away from like the, um, here, I'll just show you. Why not? I'm not, I'm not in a rush for these videos because I know you guys are like the true fans that want to see the setup, so... I want to go over every possible thing if I can remember. So you can just do this wall instead of both these. Don't reinforce this one, then you can save it for that. Or even save it for that one instead of reinforcing this middle. You don't need to do this middle one, but for a ranked I like doing it. Just so they can't get crazy angles in the sight. But that's usually because I solo queue as well, so... All personal preference, really. Okay, back to it. Your last two reinforcements, if you don't have a mirror, put them right here. You already know how to reinforce these. Just like that. But, if you have those open for the mirror strat, you can come over here even, extend out on this side. Put your reinforcements on either these two, if you want to extend to this point. That's what I usually do in solo queue, I reinforce these. I bring castle, I'll castle off this door. Castle off this door. It usually just funnels them through one castle because they're too lazy to come over here and get this one or the wall. That's a really good strat I like doing. Or you can extend all the way out here. Use your reinforcement for Geisha wall. Hold into Geisha and then you can hold these angles into Terrace right here from Drum. And that's really good to do. Little tip too, you can shoot the Drum carcass out here and you can see all the way into here. That's a good angle to have sometimes. Yeah, if you do this extension though, you probably want to make like a black rotate right here. Try to really hold this area down well. And don't reinforce these, obviously. That's very advanced thought. I would not recommend that in ranked. If anything, I would just extend out here and try and hold this part of the map for a bit. They'll probably go to this window, use a castle there, castle these doors. Castle like the site window maybe. And you're pretty much set. Also, bonus tip, always have some utility on the stairway. That's a huge point and rank the attackers like going to. Same with this door over here. They just walk in through here. I'd recommend somebody playing aggressive on that. And of course the site window jump in, has something on that. If you have somebody below even, they could hold a hole like this from below and just kill them right when they jump in with a shotgun or something, if it's a mute. Okay, before I go on too much here, let me show a shield. Um, if you want, you can do the same kind of shield right here to watch this door from this side, but I don't recommend it because the window. Honestly, don't really know any good shield spots in this. Maybe for this, if you're holding it over on this side of the map, put these full holes. You could watch Geisha with a shield right here. Just for more cover for yourself. You can play off the shield like this and shoot them as they come in, or just like this. You can peek like that. This is a pretty good shield, honestly. I don't really have any other shield placements on this site. I don't bring shield operators when I defend this, so that's why. I'm sure you can think of some good ones, though. Let me show you the uh, mirrors as well. So the first mirror right here, by the way, I already went over this. Put it on this wall. You can hold the mirror into this. I like putting this one standing, though, too. And then you want to do a crouch mirror right here. You do this one crouch, by the way, so you can play behind the mini bar. Because now the um, attackers can't do anything from this side. Even if they're in terrace, like, you're safe to hold this stuff you need to. That's a very good mirror. Some attackers are probably going to try to do some crazy stuff. They're going to, like, soft breach this wall and run in and try to knife your mirror fast or ash it. 
So this is very good pair with like a Wamai or something on this. Like put Wamai at the top here. Just stuff like that to keep the mirror intact. Because that mirror is very important and very strong. It's a very good mirror spot. Now if you don't want to do this mirror here, if they're not pushing over on that side. Just slap a mirror hard right here. They can't shoot it from the window, I don't think. If it's hard right. Because the canister will probably be like right here somewhere. Yeah, like they can't even see the canister from that probably. Maybe, let's see. I doubt it. If you do hard right, it's probably not even visible. I don't know for sure though, so don't flame me if I'm wrong. But you could also always do crouch and then it'd be harder for them to see from that. Pair up with the castle too. Okay, so we've loaded in here now. So first thing you do every time, so your randoms, if you're not playing with a team, doesn't reinforce it. Pop this hatch, you need to play above on this site, you need to. Because if the attackers get above control, it's round over. Everything's soft, basically. And there's a window right on site here, so you, you can't really play in site very well. There's just too many ways you can get pinched, honestly. So just do that right away. Um, and then first thing here, make head holes on this wall. Just like that. Make a little rotate here on this, just a little crouch one. This is going to be because you're trying to play around Sushi Bar, which is this right here. You really need to play this area. It's going to be, um, in ranked, it's going to be a, like a hard push over here probably around restaurant. Like, they like jumping in this window, obviously. They like have, they have this window too as well. So you really got to play over here hard. I'd recommend making some high holes on this for anybody holding black stairs. So they can see right into the site. Again, you need to hold up top anyway, so they can't get control of this wall to open up. Because then it's a free plant. Make a rotate hard in this corner here. Again, this is the rank setup. This is what I'd recommend against ranked players, because a lot of people don't even know how to attack the site, to be honest. Because this skyscraper is the most unplayed site. So now, again, if you're playing black stairs late in the round, you can see right through the rotate if they have a site. You can see most of the default plants from this area, unless they plant behind this. But sometimes you can even see since you're above. What I do here is make head holes all the way across this. What you're doing here is making the site a kill box, basically. That's why you're not playing it, you're playing above the site. I'll show you how the setup for that afterwards as well. Again, same head holes across this wall. Just like that. You can even do some on this if you want to. Doesn't really matter too much though. So basically, we've opened everything up. You can get super long angles everywhere. ACOGs are crazy on this. Like, you can see everything, man. Okay, before I start reinforcements... Okay, I'm gonna do reinforcements now for you guys first, since we are down here. Again, you can do full holes if you want to for plants later, like this. Just little small ones, so you can see if they're planting behind that. That's also a good option. Because now, like, they can't plant anywhere on this from this side. First reinforcement, though, goes right here. This is to help hold delivery down. That's this area right here, pantry, and then delivery's right over here. You have to hold this. This is very prone to an attacking rush. That's what usually hits me, so that's why I always play in this area myself, personally. So, I sometimes even reinforce both these. At least reinforce the left one, though. Just so they can't get, like, super deep angles if they get, get this control of the map. Because, again, if you're solo queue or something, like, you don't have any help here. If you aren't solo queue, maybe have a teammate even play this area and try to hold this area down on the map. Because they like pushing over here. And then you can hold this door for them. So you can kind of hold a cross for each other here from bar and... What is this called again? Coat check. Yeah, is the coat check thing. So yeah, that's how I'd recommend holding this part of the map down. And then I put my shield here. Let me just show you now. Just like this. Maybe turn it a little bit more. Like that. You get some good angles right here with a shotgun now. Warren's shotgun is very good for this. Maybe even Ella's shotgun. So you can still set up sight and everything. Um, other reinforcements down here. There's not really any, let's be honest. Most of your reinforcements are going up top. Actually, there is one. This one right here, you have to reinforce this. If it's not, they can just wallbang from this window right here. They can jump right into the toilet, wallbang through sight entirely, and it's not very good. You don't want them to be able to do that. 
Somebody will sit in the window all around and just hold it the entire time. Okay, let me go above now. Above is going to be the majority of the work here. I like having a black rotate, but I don't recommend it again if you're not with a team. But again, somebody should be playing in this area by black and karaoke anyway, so... I'm going to go ahead and make that. And obviously a rotate here. Unfortunately, I'm running out of shotgun shells. I have one left. Let's put it here. Do we get the window? Yeah, there's the window. This is the most important vert on this site because you can hold the window jumping from here, obviously. There are a lot of other angles. Like, literally open up all this floor, basically. Open up angles everywhere so you can hold any plant from above. Like, there's one right here on this corner. Like, you can see the uh, corner by the uh, wall we shotgunned earlier. The rotate should be, like, around here, I think. Yeah. It's, like, right down there. So sometimes they'll play in that corner. Behind these bars, too. Like, these. Maybe the other side of it. Again, just shotgun everywhere, basically. You make angles on everything. And your job is to hold above. So, reinforcements. I'd recommend reinforcing both these walls over here. Keep in mind, this is ranked. This isn't comp. Nobody's ever going to go for this wall if you reinforce it. So you can safely sit in this corner the entire round, pretty much. Like, put a bandit on this. Try to bandit trick this wall, and you're so good. Like, they can't get below because that's sight, basically. And they're not going to do anything on this because you can bandit this wall as well. So you're pretty much set. You just got to watch the jumping, basically. That's why you got to have at least two people above, probably three. Reinforce this wall on the site. And <laughs> not the site. I just called it site, even. Reinforce this wall, though, so you can just safely sit here and hold the window. Another good power spot. You can hold the hatch. You can hold this door if somebody dies over here. It's so good, man. Um, then it's up to you if you want to have shotgun holes here. Um, I'd probably recommend it, because you will have a player floating around this area anyways, like I said. Like, if you have somebody around, like, restaurant and bar, they can just sit on the stairs the entire round. They can hold the uh, geisha part with you. I'd recommend coming over here, maybe barricading this off first. Just for opposite over, in case they come from this direction. Like, all you're using barricades here for, by the way, is, like, sound cues. Like, you'll know the person's there. Like, use it for info. Like a trap, basically. Um, you can come barricade that one. I barricade this only, though. Then come over here. Barricade this one. You're putting layers of barricades on here. You just don't want them entering this side of the map. You want to scare them off with that so they can't sneak up on you. And if they don't, you'll know they're there at least. So, worst case scenario, you have a gunfight. And right here, since you're going to be playing back here, basically, you want to reinforce this wall. Now, it's up to you again. Like I said, you can either, either have head holes on this wall or this wall if you choose to reinforce this. All personal preference. I just like this one because I play farther back on this. And then it's up to you again if you want to reinforce this one as well. But there should be somebody over here, like I said before, on the stairs. You can even have a rotate right here if you need to escape later. All up to you. I just recommend leaving it soft personally for solo queue. You don't have enough time to do everything else. But if you're with a team, again, whatever you like more. Um, and I was saying, either heddles on these, or you can reinforce both of them and just play this box. Not a bad solo queue option. And then your last two reinforcements, you can either do both these walls on black, if you don't have the rotate here, which, honestly, I might recommend. Either that, though, or you can bear... You can uh, reinforce this one for cover if you're on either side here holding vert. You do need to extend into karaoke, though, so let me just reinforce these off. I think that's the preferred strat for me. You can't have the rotate, though, so before I get any comments saying, why am I reinforcing my own rotate? That's why I love Siege, man. There's so many strats, so many ways you can do things. That's the best part of the game. You just got to do it. You just got to go in a game yourself and see what works for you against uh, the enemies you're playing against. Um, and then, yeah, you can also barricade these off if you want to for another layer. Just be careful if they drone you and you don't know they droned like under the door. They can just get a yellow ping on you and wall bang you for free. So definitely be listening for sound cues when you're playing above here. I mean, that's pretty much it, though. Again, make vert everywhere on this so they can't, like, run in and plant. 
got to have somebody holding delivery. That's why these head holes are here too. The guy playing here, he can have some support. Play an ACOG on that or something. Swing off his contact when they flashed him or something. Because you're safe behind the reinforcement. Hold down the sight window as well if nobody's above. And yeah, I know that's a lot I just went over. Like there's so much to siege like I said. But hopefully this helped you just a little bit with your skyscraper knowledge and your sight setup ability. From looking at my time, this is going to be a long video again like the last setup even longer than that because skyscraper is very advanced. But if you did enjoy, leave a like down there below. There will be more of these soon. I think I'm going to do consulate next maybe because it's another like underplayed kind of map. So nobody really knows the best site setups. Some people do, but a lot have been asking for that one specifically. So I'll probably do consulate next, then maybe like a clubhouse or something. Keep it a little simple in the next one. But tell me in the comments what you guys want to see for maps. I will be doing operator setup soon as well. I've been getting asked about that. So subscribe if you're new to the channel and want to see more of these. If you didn't know, my whole main thing on my channel is my solo queue. I have a playlist for that. It's linked in the description as it is always in my videos. Um, we're trying to solo queue to champ right now. It's been a very great start of the season. I'm 11-1. Sorry for the spoilers if you haven't caught up on that. But it's been a great start and we're going to continue grinding on that as well. Anyways though, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.